For this video, I saw things that I can't believe that these animal species exist. I carefully examined each one of them and collected the strangest living creatures on the planet for you. So let me start with the scariest, dragonfish, the strangest fish discovered. This scary fish that was discovered in the Pacific Ocean is the dragonfish, which has a surprising resemblance to the movies of aliens and the characters of the movie Aliens. Narwhale. Narwhals are what you get when you mix a unicorn with a whale. These massive animals are able to grow up to 18 feet in size and have extremely long spikes protruding from the center of their heads. These horn-like extremities may look like deadly weapons, but they are just the opposite. The tusk is actually used to taste the concentrations of different chemicals in the water, allowing them to track food and other narwhals who are ready to mate. These underwater mystical creatures are found mainly in the Arctic Ocean around Russia. Narwhals spend their winters under the ice in the Baffin Bay Davis Strait, sometimes for five-month stretches. They breathe through cracks in the ice. Another amazing fact about this bizarre animal is that it sometimes performs dives of up to 1.5 miles deep. Goblin Shark The goblin shark looks like a swordfish that has some sort of alien eating its way out of its face, hence the name. These fish have been lurking around the dark parts of the ocean for millions of years, making them one of the few living fossils on the planet. They are considered the last members of an ancient lineage dating back some 125 million years. They have pale pink skin because they never come up high enough in the water to be touched by sunlight. Its bizarre snout is covered with electroreceptors, known as ampullae of Lorenzini, that allow it to sense its prey's electric fields. Its jaws also extend when feeding. In short, this is one creepy prehistoric animal you would never want to find swimming around in your pool. Four pyrosomes. In the depths of the oceans live strange creatures that look like a worm, but hollow. These huge creatures that can be as big as a whale are called pyrosomes, of course. Pyrosomes are not actually an animal, but a large number of organisms that gather together in a group and weave together to create this hollow tube. 5. Naked Mole Rat Naked mole rats are rodents, but unlike some of their evolutionary relatives, they live in communities. Several dozen rats live together in colonies led by one dominant rat, the queen. Similar to some insect species, the queen is the only naked mole rat female to breed and bear young. Worker animals dig the burrows that the whole clan inhabits using their prominent teeth and snouts. They also gather the roots and bulbs for the colony to eat. Other rats tend to the queen. Most other types of mole rats live on their own or in small families. Though mole rats spend most of their time excavating and foraging in their burrows, they occasionally emerge to search for seeds or other plants. 6. Star-Nosed Mole I'm going to start off by saying I hate these things. They are ugly, weird, ugly, and uglier. They just freak me out in ways I can't describe in words. The weirdest thing about this little creature is the 22 disgusting little fleshy tentacles at the end of its hideous little snout. In total, these tentacles have over 25,000 tiny sensory receptors that are referred to as Imer's organs. 7. Turritopsis nutricula A hydroid jellyfish of the family Oceanidae, the Turritopsis nutricula is originally from the Caribbean Sea, but now it's found around the world, in all the warm and tropical seas. Since scientists spotted it in Colombia, it has also been seen near Japan and in the Mediterranean Sea. It is tall with a transparent and gelatinous skin. The young organisms have eight tentacles, and the adults can have 80, 90 tentacles. It has a big red stomach inside, and it can shine in the dark. 8. Axolotl Also known as the Mexican walking fish, the axolotl is one of the most unique amphibians in the world. Aside from the genial outward appearance, the amphibian is neotenic, meaning that the adults remain aquatic and gilled instead of going through a metamorphosis when reaching maturity. They also have the ability to regenerate almost any of their body parts. 
While axolotls are nearly extinct in their native Mexico, they have thrived in captivity and have become prized by the scientific world as well as by civilians as pets. 9. Eye Eye With bulging eyes, giant ears, and tufts of hair, the Eye Eye is a long-fingered lemur, a strepsirin primate native to Madagascar with rodent-like teeth that perpetually grow and a special thin middle finger. It is the world's largest nocturnal primate. It is characterized by its unusual method of finding food. It taps on trees to find grubs, then gnaws holes in the wood using its forward slanting incisors to create a small hole in which it inserts its narrow middle finger to pull the grubs out. 10. Blobfish the blobfish is a deep-sea fish which inhabits waters just above the seabed at depths of 600 to 1,200 meters, 2,000 to 3,900 feet, off the coasts of mainland Australia, New Zealand, and Tasmania. The blobfish is a rather odd-looking fish out of water, but this is due to the strange adaptations to its preferred waters. While many fish use gas bladders to create buoyancy, the blobfish does it by being made up of gelatinous mass with a slightly lower density than water. The blobfish is also lacking in muscle, so much of its existence is spent floating along with the current and eating whatever floats right in front of it. Siphonophore. Meet the longest animal in the world, the siphonophore. Yes, it's even longer than the blue whale. At 45 meters, 150 feet, the blue whale with a maximum confirmed length of 29.9 meters, 98 feet, is a mere baby in comparison. This specimen, seen here arranged in a feeding spiral, was encountered in 2020 as part of Schmidt Ocean Institute's deep sea expedition. But be warned, it's a relative of the Portuguese man o' war and is trailing deadly, stinging tentacles through the water. Think of it a bit like a wall of death, albeit a very different type to the Butlin's ride with the same name, 